Despite only being rated a three-star prospect in high school, Brock Purdy has made significant waves in the NFL. No one expected his rise to stardom, and he has overcome the odds to become a household name with a bright future. But many experts had Mr. Irrelevant pegged as an undrafted free agent leading up to the 2022 NFL Draft. With eight quarterbacks selected before Purdy, you may wonder who they are, why were they drafted before Purdy, and where are they now? Frenzies, let's dive in and find out who the eight quarterbacks drafted were before Brock Purdy. Number one, Kenny Pickett, Steelers. Graduating from Ocean Township High School in 2017, Kenny Pickett was the first quarterback swept up during the 2022 NFL Draft. Pickett was the 20th overall selection, setting a record for the latest a quarterback has been drafted in an NFL draft since 1997. Being a functional yet mobile quarterback, Pickett was seen as the best option coming out of the 2022 draft and was heavily relied upon for his pocket passing ability during his time in college. Being a Pittsburgh product also improved his odds of going to the Steelers. In fact, he should have been the next Big Ben for the franchise. Unfortunately, his performances have been underwhelming to say the least, and so far, he has not had nearly enough playing time. The New Jersey native currently has around 19 starts and has a record of 11 and 8 with fewer than 4,000 yards for 12 touchdowns and 13 interceptions. These stats don't resemble a franchise quarterback, and Pickett might be on borrowed time if he doesn't turn things around in the coming season, with the Steelers once again missing out on the playoffs. Number two, Desmond Ritter, Falcons. Hailing from Cincinnati, Desmond Ritter was next to go on the draft board. He was picked up by the Atlanta Falcons as the 74th overall pick of the 2022 draft and had a good four-year career as a starter in college. In fact, he was one of the better prospects considering his college career, size, and playing mechanic. Scouts even mentioned his high playing IQ while only worrying about his accuracy and ball placement. But these are things that can be fixed, especially with a few years behind Marcus Mariota. However, a struggling Mariota saw Ritter start the final four games of his rookie season, which earned him the starting job for the 2023 season. Unfortunately, his poor season led the former Cincinnati native to find himself once again as a backup for Taylor Heineke at the end of the 2023 season. His 2,528 passing yards for 10 touchdowns and 10 picks could signal an end to his time in Atlanta. Number three, Malik Willis, Titans. After transferring to Liberty University in 2019, Malik Willis had to wait another year before being named as the starting quarterback in 2020. It was here that Willis shined and earned the 2020 Dudley Award, given to the best college football player in the state of Virginia. This significantly added to his rising stock and he would become the 86th overall pick of the 2020 22 draft going to the Tennessee Titans. In fact, many experts projected him to go as high as the second round, but this was not to be. After signing with the Titans, he would only have to wait until week two to make his debut, starting against the Buffalo Bills. He would start three games in place of an injured Ryan Tannehill, but was quickly replaced. In fact, his current stats have him at 350 yards with zero touchdowns and three interceptions and a quarterback rating of 49.4. Perhaps his lack of game time could be the reason for not progressing, but Willis might be on the way out of Tennessee if things don't improve. Number four, Matt Coral. Panthers. After a stellar college career, Matt Coral was selected by the Carolina Panthers as the 94th overall pick in the 2022 draft. In fact, his experience of leading the Rebels to a 10-2 record in his senior year made him an exciting prospect with a Sugar Bowl appearance. Unfortunately, a Liz Frank injury in a preseason game against the Patriots left him on the injury reserve list for the Panthers and he would miss his entire rookie year. On August 30, 2023, the Panthers would waive him from the 53-man roster and the New England Patriots would pick up the prospect who would be placed on the exempt left squad list on September 9, 2023. Unfortunately, he was released on September 18, which left him without a job and no career in the NFL. As of this video, the rumor mill has been rife with speculation, but things don't seem to be going as planned for the injury-riddled college star. Number 5. Bailey Zappa Patriots. After transferring to Western Kentucky for his senior year in college, Bailey Zappa would find himself leading the football bowl subdivision in passing yards during the 2021 season. He had 5,545 passing yards for 56 touchdowns and was on his way to being a good prospect heading into the 2022 NFL Draft. Zappa found himself on the Patriots' radar, who eventually picked him up in the fourth round as the 137th overall pick, and he slotted in as third-string quarterback behind Mac Jones and Brian Hoyer. Things went in his favor during his record season as injuries to Mac Jones and Hoyer saw him make his debut in Week 4 of the 2022 season. The following week, Zappa made his starting debut against the Lions, throwing for 188 yards, a touchdown, and an interception in the 29 to zero shutout victory. As Jones returned to action in week seven, Zappa found himself as the backup for the rest of the season, 
but was waived from the squad in 2023 as part of the final roster cuts by the Patriots. He eventually found himself back on the squad and was promoted to starter against the Rams as Jones continued to struggle. He led the Patriots to an upset win over the Broncos, but struggled the next four games against the Jets and the Bills. As of this video, he currently sits with a 4-4 starting record and the possibility of becoming a career backup player. Number 6. Sam Howell Commanders. Another quarterback with high ambitions was three-year college player Sam Howell. Howell hails from the University of North Carolina and received significant hype going into his junior campaign. He would ultimately finish his college career with 10,283 yards and 92 touchdowns and threw at least one touchdown pass in every college game he played. In fact, he was predicted to be one of the early picks in the 2022 draft with these college numbers, but fell to the fifth round and became the 144th pick of the draft. Picked up by the Commanders, he would find himself warming the bench for the better part of his rookie year, only starting in week 18 against the Dallas Cowboys. Here, Howell recorded 169 passing yards with a passing and rushing touchdown for the 26-6 win over the Cowboys. This gave him the starting job in the 2023 season, beating out Jacoby Brissett in training camp. His second season would be fruitful, as Howell led the NFL in passing yards by mid-November, but his offensive line was bleeding sacks. Howell was on par to break the sack record, having taken 40 in just seven games. Howell would continue the rest of the season being on and off the bench before ending the year as a starter. His 2023 season ended with 3,946 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, and a league-leading 21 interceptions. This does beg the question of how reliable he is for the foreseeable future. His 5-13 record in games started also doesn't look great from a scouting point of view. Number 7. Chris Olekdokun, Steelers With no quarterbacks going in the sixth round, things picked up for the 2022 quarterback class in the final round. Chris Olekdokun was selected as the 241st overall pick by the Steelers. Unfortunately, there is not much to say about this prospect, as he would ultimately fail to make the 53-man Steelers squad. As of this video, he finds himself on the Chiefs practice squad, and his hopes of becoming an NFL star seem bleak. The former South Dakota quarterback seems to be hoping to at least make a squad. Number 8. Skylar Thompson, Dolphins Skylar Thompson was the last quarterback to go before Brock Purdy, and would actually spend five years playing for Kansas State. In fact, he was considered one of the best quarterbacks to ever come out of Kansas State, and has two seasons of more than 2,000 passing yards. What made him special was his mobility and knack for rushing, where he scored an impressive 20 six rushing touchdowns and accumulated more than 1,000 rushing yards. Unfortunately, his history of injuries made him an undrafted free agent prospect come the 2022 NFL Draft. After being picked up as the 247th pick of the 2022 Draft, his first two preseason games were notable, and Dolphins coach Mike McDaniel would not want him to be snapped up by another team, so he made the 53-man roster. He would ultimately start two games in his first season, having a record of 1-1. One one. He started his final game against the Bills in the wildcard round, which led to a 34-31 loss, which would also be the last time he was seen on the field. Thompson is currently on the Dolphins roster, but it doesn't seem like he would earn the starting job and might need to wait for injuries to get his chance. There you have it. After comparing all the quarterbacks drafted before Brock, you immediately realize how special he is. In fact, he may be a Super Bowl champ by the time you watch this video. There is also no denying that many teams are kicking themselves for passing up on Purdy and Mr. Irrelevant is definitely relevant. Having accomplished so much in only two seasons and leading the 49ers to the Super Bowl, why does the media still doubt this kid? Let us know what you think.